So, we are officially one year on from when the channel actually started, like, properly. It's been an amazing roller coaster, and what I want to do today, uh, because it's such a big thing, it's absolutely phenomenal, and I am so, so happy with it. I'm going to be telling you basically the whole story of the channel from when it started to now. And what we're going to be doing is, because it is also the year's birthday of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, we're going to play some Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Yes, I haven't played this in ages. Uh, and if you didn't know, this was actually the game that grew my channel. This is what started off uh, Master of and kind of started it as as like a massive thing in my life, as the main thing I go to is because of this game. So I thought, we need to play this game, and I'll basically take you through what has happened since I started YouTube, uh, and where we are today. So, let's get going, uh, we're just gonna be the classic old chemist for now, and we're gonna start off when the channel was made. So the channel was actually made, uh, I think it was September 30th, and that is tw 2013, so that is, we're 2015 now, but obviously we've just started it. So it's a year and about four or five months old now. Uh, which is pretty amazing that that time has gone past since I opened up my channel. Now, the reason I actually started up my channel uh, was I went to a gaming convention with a friend, and we went there, and he saw this person at this gaming convention called Tom Cassell, I think his second name is, uh, aka Syndicate. You all know him as Syndicate. Now, what he did there was basically nothing. I didn't speak to him uh, or anything like that, but I was amazed. Like, my friend was like, this guy is amazing. You need to know who he is and all this, that, and the other. And I was like, who, who is this guy? Because I was really into gaming, uh, but I wasn't into YouTube. I didn't watch YouTube at all. The only thing I actually watched on YouTube, funny enough, was like trick shots and quick scopes and 360 cross map MLG gameplay on Call of Duty. Um, so what it was was that's when I found out about YouTube as like, oh, okay, so people do it as, number one, as a job, number two, they get a huge following about it, and number three, people actually care, people watch their videos, uh, and people are really interested about it. So I went home that night and, boom, opened up a new gaming channel, which was called The Master Of. Now, it's called The Master Of, and it is still called The Master Of, but the name change has changed about about three or four times. So it started off as the master of, uh, and then I changed it to uh, just master of. Then I changed it to this guy, like the name of the channel was this guy, um, and then I changed it back to master of, I believe. Yeah, so I, I've had a few different name chains. They've all been roughly the same, uh, but the biggest one was going obviously to uh, this guy. I can't actually remember why I chose this guy, uh, but I called myself this guy because I didn't want to be called Master of at that stage. Now, where did Master of come from? Master of was just a gamer tag. Uh, when I opened up a new Xbox account, it basically gave me uh, a starter name as oh, I'm gonna die here. It gave me a starter name as Master of. No, sorry, Master X Y Z blah 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 blah. Uh, and my nickname is Of because it's my first name's Oliver, my second name is Vincent. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just keep that and I'll call myself Master of. Why not? Not thinking that it would become a name known to 600,000 people, which is just absurd. So anyway, that's how that was made. Uh, and I started off doing Call of Duty videos, because that's what I really enjoyed. And my first videos were really funny. Uh, I was really nervous. Not as in funny as in they were meant to be comedy-wise. They were just funny for me to make and watch, because I was so quiet. I started off, like, loads of people think, Oh, I need to buy this expensive microphone to start YouTube. I need to get an expensive webcam. You really don't. I started my videos off recording off my iPhone. Uh, so what, all I did there was I had my headphone in, and I used the microphone on those little white headphone cables. And I recorded my mic... Uh, from that, and I used my voice from my iPhone, and the voice wasn't bad, it was a little bit tinny, it was a little bit staticky, but it did the job, and I wasn't thinking, oh, this is going to be something big, I just wanted to do it for the time being, as a little bit of fun, I was still in school, I love video games, and I've realized that, wow, people do this, people actually follow people that do this, and I'd love people to follow me because of my gaming content, and, uh, Obviously, a year and a bit on, that's, ex <laughs> that's exactly what's happened to an extent that I could have only dreamed about. And to be honest, I still do think sometimes this is just a huge, massive friggin' dream. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I started off with my phone and I also used my uh, camera, the front camera on the iPhone. So it was just like placed there, I had the headphone in. And I did Call of Duty and I did uh, a little bit of Battlefield. I basically did competitive Call of Duty for a very little while. So I was playing on those Gfinity Leagues. Uh, I got in a team, I got in a couple of teams actually, 
Uh, and I had really good fun with competitive, but I hated the atmosphere after a while. Like, everybody on competitive, not everybody, that's that's harsh. Lots of people on competitive, especially small teams, small league, whatever, are so, like, so rude. Now, I'm quite a humble person. I'm not one to, uh, I used to swear in my videos. That was something that actually caught me out the, the other day. I used to swear in my videos uh, because that's, you know, I swore when I got angry and, you know, playing shooter games got me quite angry. Uh, but I'm a pretty humble person, and I'm not, like, nasty or anything, and I really didn't enjoy doing that. I felt awkward once I watched my videos back and I was swearing. I was like, this is actually quite awkward to watch. So I completely stopped uh, any swearing in my videos, and I became child-friendly so that anybody, any viewers of any age could watch me. And I'm, I'm so happy I did that. It's such a nicer uh, kind of atmosphere to have that within the channel. But anyway, competitive kind of died out. I got really bored of it, and I was stuck with the channel, and I was like, what shall I do? I want to, I still love first-person shooters, but I don't want to do Call of Duty. I don't want to do Battlefield. I don't want to try and, you know, become a professional gamer in the sense of, uh, you know, being the next Nade Shot or being the next Big Time or anything like that. It, I was just like, I want to play a game that's fun. And then I read a game coming up very soon called Plants vs. Zombies. Garden Warfare, which is this game I'm playing at the moment. Now, when I started playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I had maybe 1,000 subscribers, and, you know, I was, like, over the moon. 1,000 subscribers was huge, uh, and that was really... I was super happy about it. And I actually got Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare a few days early. I, I can't remember how. I was really lucky to get it a few days early, just sometimes games send out games a few days early. Uh, and I actually streamed it for the first time, and this was my, like, second or third time streaming it as well. Uh, and I got 100 viewers on Twitch, and my Twitch blew up. By blew up, I mean I got 100 followers in one night, which was massive, and I was like, that is crazy. So I started doing videos on it, and before I knew it, you know, I was getting 100 people watching my videos, then 200 people watching each video, then 1,000, and then all of a sudden it, it jumped up, and I was having about... 5,000 people watching each of my videos. I'd hit 10,000 subscribers just from Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Just this small, stupid, fun game that I'm playing now that is just such a laugh. I'm not going to lie, this is probably the game that I've had the most fun playing. Uh, and Plants vs. Zombies themselves, PopCap, are the nicest people. They support so well. They support channels of all sizes. Uh, and, you know, if, they, if you play their games, they will support you. And it is really nice of them to do that. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. Now, this at this stage, I kind of grew, I think, to about, like, 25, 30,000 subscribers just from Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, and the video that started my channel off was the first pack opening on YouTube. So before anybody else had opened a pack on YouTube, I was like, right, I need to get this video down and I need to do it. And also, I did a row to million where you get a million coins in the game. Uh, and I spent the first million on YouTube as well. And that really grew my channel. That got me, like... At least 5,000 subscribers in like a month, which was insane. Uh, and from this as well, I met some really cool YouTubers and some ones that really helped me out. And, you know, they were way bigger than me. So I'm going to like shout out a few people. Uh, but if I if I don't... Is this guy on my team? Yeah. Uh, if, if I don't like shout everybody out that's helped me, I am sorry. It's, there's lots of people that have helped me. Uh, but the first person that properly helped me on YouTube really was Ghost Robo, um, Zach. You probably all know him. I've played lots with him. Uh, we talk uh, quite a lot. We've done podcasts, all this, that, and the other. I mean, at this stage, when I was 20,000, so I was, you know, a small channel, he was like 700,000. And when he actually, like, spoke to me and we did a video together, I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is this dude doing this? Uh, and that was amazing. And that obviously, that helped my channel as well a ton. Uh, it did boost it up, and then also I played with Zach Scott Games, and Zach Scott did videos with me, and I streamed with him. Uh, and I'm ever grateful for that as well, because that grew my channel again. Uh, and again, I was amazed, because he, he had like 900,000 subscribers as well, and I was just like, this is this is crazy that he's, he's playing with me, uh, and all these big YouTubers are playing with me. But that was the beauty of it, because you could play with anybody on this game. Uh, and then other YouTubers, like um, I did some videos... Oh, who did I do videos with? I can't remember the, their name now. They don't even do YouTube now. Uh, but then I made friends with some people that play Plants vs. Zombies Gun Warfare, and it was a really nice community. People like Zero X Fusions, uh, Carl, oh, what was his name? Carl Barker, I think. Some really cool guys uh, that I just met through. I didn't necessarily make videos with them or play with them loads, uh, but we, we had good fun, and that was kind of where YouTube started for me. So once I'd done Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for a bit, I wanted to move on to a new game. Because I played this loads, I'd made loads of videos on it, and I was like, what shall I do? 
A friend came over, actually, to my house, uh, and he, he was talking about Clash of Clans. Now, at this point, I didn't know what Clash of Clans was. Uh, it was just a bizarre game to me that I had no idea. I looked at his account, and he was, like, level 100, and I was like, what the hell is this? I have no idea what you're doing. Um, and he said, they're releasing a new game tomorrow, which is called Boom Beach, uh, and you should play it. And I was like, okay, because I didn't know Clash of Clans was a big thing on YouTube. Uh, and I was like, alright, I'll give it a go. And I played my first game of Boom Beach, and I made my first Boom Beach video, and that went really well. Loads of guys are obviously searched for Boom Beach videos, because it was the makers of Clash of Clans. Uh, and I came up, and loads of people watched it, and that grew my channel again a ton. Uh, and that got me thinking, should I play Clash of Clans as well? So when I was playing Boom Beach, uh, I was playing Boom Beach, and uh, Nick at Night as well, or Teach Boom Beach, just started his YouTube channel at the same time as mine. Uh, and we kind of worked together, we did some fun videos with some really fun challenges, and they were all great fun to film. Uh, and that was really cool, because we were kind of working uh, and building our channels together, etc, etc. And then for the first time, I went, alright, you know what I'll do? Is I will play... I think this guy knows who I am, because he keeps on dancing when he kills me. I will play Clash of Clans, and I did my first video of Clash of Clans, and it was hilarious. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. Loads of people watched it, loads of people enjoyed it, and they wanted more, and they said, do more Clash of Clans as well as Boom Beach. Uh, as well as Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare as well. So at this time, I was doing three different games. Um, two of them very similar, Boom Beach Clash of Clans, pretty damn similar. Um, but as well as Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. And all of a sudden, I started getting more viewers for my Clash of Clans and Boom Beach content than Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Uh, because Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare had been out for like six, seven months at that time. And, you know, I was like, okay, I think it's maybe time to move on a little bit. I mean, I was still enjoying playing it. But the, the reach I had with Clash of Clans and Boom Beach was so much greater, I put a lot more time of effort into that. And I kind of stopped doing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare content. I did a little bit, I started up a second channel for it, uh, and I did, well, I did another like 40-50 videos of it uh, at that stage. So it's not like I stopped doing it completely, uh, but it wasn't my main game, it wasn't the thing that was growing my channel. That was the other two games. So I focused a lot more on those, uh, and that started building it up. You know, I got loads of followers then, I mean I hit... I hit 50,000 subscribers, uh, when did I hit that, like May time? No, I hit like 100,000 actually, I think May time, or did I? I can't quite remember, um, but we hit around 100,000 subscribers, maybe June time actually, let's say June, uh, which was insane, 100,000 subscribers, I was like over the moon, I had no idea what to think at this stage, like everything was, I actually, like you know when you sit there and you start YouTube trying, you're like wow, if I can get 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be laughing, this is going to be crazy. And I got it, and I got my silver play button, it's actually right above me there, so every time I'm doing a video I can look up, and it's like, my achievement is there. Uh, the next one obviously to go for is the huge gold million one, which hopefully might come one day, but we're, we're not we're not sure, we've got to work for it, which is the whole fun in YouTube, is you get, the more work you put in, the more effort you put in, the more you get back. And um, I went with that attitude, and I put so much time and effort into it. And when uh, it started taking over my work, because um, I did have a job, I ran an online com I ran an online company, uh, and I also ran the office at my parents' business. I it took over, and it was like you know I'm putting so much time and effort into this. I feel I could do this as a job, so I put so much work into it, uh, and it actually overtook my job. And I was like, right, I'm gonna quit my job. I'm gonna do YouTube. I'm just gonna focus on it. You know, I I was 18. I'm only 19 now, so I'm 18. I've got the whole of my life ahead of me. I want to do something that's gonna be fun, interesting, and something that I can really be proud of. We're gonna dominate these guys, uh, and I did that. And then all of a sudden. My, my videos just went doo -doo 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 -doo, and everybody started watching them and it was insane. So obviously this wasn't without its downfall. Some people uh, started like saying, well, how's he doing this, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but people started claiming me for this, that and the other. But really there was nothing going on at all. And it was all kind of stuff that people were like, well, I don't know how he's doing this. I'm going to make up this story. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this. Um, but I just kept my head down. I don't, thing is with me, I don't hate anybody. Um, people can make choices, people can say things, and I don't hate them for it, it's their own choice. But I just kept my head down, and I just kept on working, I kept on making videos. We did really well! 20 kills on my first game back, that's really good. We're gonna jump into another one. Uh, actually, should we jump into a different game mode? Let's jump into a different game mode. Uh, I kept my head down, I kept on working, and the channel grew and grew and grew. And at this time, I was invited over to Supercell in, uh, Finland, which was my first trip abroad. 
Uh, but before that, I had gone to a couple of gaming conventions. I'd met loads of really cool people. Uh, and the most, the friends I have in the UK through YouTube are mainly from different communities as well. They're from like Clash of Clans, not Clash of Clans, different communities. They're from um, Call of Duty, Minecraft, all that kind of jazz. So that's really cool uh, because it's, you know, it's a different sector. So uh, it's quite nice to have friends that do completely different things, but still do YouTube as, as their main job or as their main hobby as well. But anyway, I was invited over to uh, Supercell in Finland. So I went over there, uh, learned some really cool stuff. The update came out and whatever. And at this time, when I, no, when I was at Supercell, I hit 200,000 subscribers. Like, when I was there, I hit 200,000 subscribers. And that was amazing. Like, that was insane. And we did have a uh, fan meet up there. It was the first time I'd really met fans. And that was really cool as well. Um, but yeah, I hit 200,000 subscribers at Supercell, which was amazing. That must have been like... October last year, I think, <clears throat> or at least around then. Uh, and then the channel carried on growing, and obviously across, across Christmas, um, all of you guys were off school, you had time off work, uh, and the channel grew and grew and grew, because I plowed so many hard videos out at that time, because I was like, I know people are going to be wanting to watch videos, it's cold, it's Christmas, it's the holidays, they're going to watch videos, so I was like, right, I'm putting my head down and I'm working my butt off during these holidays, and that's what I did, and the work paid off a treat, literally, you put in so much effort, you will get so much back for it, um, so that's all I did, and it worked really well, grew the channel even more, ah, get out of here, buddy. No. Why am I doing Team Deathmatch? I hate Team Deathmatch. Uh, so yeah, that worked and uh, the channel grew again. We completed the game. We came in. We got two kills and we won. Wow, okay. Um, so yeah, that continues. Uh, the channel grew and grew and grew. And then I also had my first trip to uh, America, which was cool, which was for a game called Vainglory. I played it a couple of times. Uh, it's a really fun game, and I'm really happy that they, they took me over there. So I went to America for the first time. Uh, again, I met some really cool people that I haven't met before, uh, and it was my first trip to America. And to be taken somewhere because I make videos on video games is insane. Like, I was so happy and I was so grateful. And to be honest, it's all a whirlwind that I can't really imagine. So other things that have happened this year that aren't in YouTube terms, that were kind of personal, uh, I guess was I stopped my job to focus on YouTube full time, which is exactly what I'm still doing. Um, I got engaged to my fiance, so I'm going to be married in a year or two, which is going to be absolutely amazing. And I was so happy I did that. Um, we're looking at possibly moving out soon, so I'm going to get my own place, which will be really nice as well. That'll always be good fun. Uh, I've done fan meetups, which has been so fun. And we've actually got a fan meetup coming up really soon at Insomnia 54. Any of you UK guys, if you can get to Insomnia 54 on the weekend, I think it's like the 3rd of April or something. I don't know. There'll be, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Come there, come see me. We can hang out. We can play games. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's in Coventry, so it's very central to everything. Uh, I'm going to be doing fan meetups there as well. It's going to, I'm actually a special guest there which was like what you want me to come and be a special guest? yeah i'll be a special guest uh which was really cool so yeah we did that uh and then it, it kind of carried on growing so we hit 500,000 subscribers literally like a month ago a month and a half ago uh, and that was like a changing point. That was like, right, the, this, the channel's blown up. It's insane. I've got half a million people. I actually went back to my videos a year ago to read some of the comments. Uh, and some people commented saying, oh, by the t this time next year, you will have half a million people following you. And like, I'd replied because I replied to every comment because there was only like 30 comments a video. So I could reply. Uh, and the car, I replied, like, yeah, that would be the dream, all this, that, and the other. And it actually happened. Not in, nowhere in my mind was I like, yeah, that's gonna happen. That actually might happen. Um, so the people that commented that, you were correct. Congratulations. And thank you for commenting it because it happened. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys did it. Well, you guys definitely did it because you were watching my videos and you grew the channel. Get down. Die, you stupid sunflower. Um, so yeah. Then, uh, so, what was it? Where was I? Yeah, we hit 500,000 subscribers, uh, and that was all that. Then we had a little bit of, uh, not a catastrophe, but a little bit of a kind of bad, not month, but a bad couple of weeks. First of all, a load of YouTube channels uh, in YouTube got suspended for a little bit. Uh, apparently, it was because of a bug in, in kind of asterisk there. I'm not sure what the bug is. They never told us. Uh, but funnily enough, when all those channels came back from being suspended, mine was only down for six hours. Some people's were down for two days. Um, <clears throat> all the people that were suspended came back and then were now verified on YouTube. So I don't know if there was a bug to do with verifying channels on YouTube or something, uh, but loads of channels went down. Clash of Clans channels, Call of Duty channels, basically from everywhere. Uh, and I guess, I'm guessing, this is all a guess, that <clears throat> it was to do with verifying channels, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so 
that was kind of a bummer. And a lot of people were like, have you got banned? Is that the end of your of your YouTube channel? I was like, no, it's just this, that, and the other. And then loads of people started making videos like, they've all been banned. It's like, no, no, we haven't. <laughs> people like put comments and videos out before they even know what happens. So I was just sat there like, right. I was watching all these videos. I was like, I know my channel is going to be back up in like six hours. So... Uh, I don't know what you, all you guys are commenting about, but that's what it did. Uh, then we got the channel back up, uh, and we carried on plowing through, and we've actually had our best month on YouTube, which is insane. I'm looking at my statistics. Uh, we are now 660,000 subscribers uh, and nearly 140 million views in a year. Guys, that is just outrageous, and I thank every single person that's ever watched a video um, of mine. And, I mean, that's just phenomenal. Like... It's like mind blowing. Uh, it's life changing, obviously, and that was just amazing. Like to be able to read that statistic as a serious statistic is just insane. And this month alone, uh, in the last 28 days, we've had 35 million views. 35 million times has my videos been clicked on, have been played, and have been enjoyed, which is just insane. And it really makes me happy. Uh, and I hope it makes you guys happy as well. Reading the comments when you guys are like, you know, I watch your videos every day. Whenever I'm sad, I watch your videos. They cheer me up. That's kind of what I do it for. That's exactly why I do it. Uh, and I I'm glad they work like that. <laughs> I'm glad they do that for you. Um, so yeah, this month alone, 35 million views, 140,000 subscribers this month. Uh, and I cannot thank you enough. So, and then we come to kind of this week. And uh, this week's kind of been a very bizarre week. Because at the start of this week, as most of you guys will know, uh, I got contacted by Supercell and they said, you can't do any more Clash of Clans videos uh, because your latest one that showed this glitch um, is against the fan content policy, uh, which says you can't show cheats or hacks. Now, it's not a cheat, it's not a hack, it's a glitch. Um, but I think it was kind of... It's kind of an outrageous statement from them, but, you know, it's it's completely up to them. It is their game at the end of the day, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. I know you guys, I've read all your comments and everything, all on the forums, on Twitter, how you've been like, this is unfair, other people have done hat videos and everything. I know it's unfair, guys, but you've got to live with it, and you, we've got to see. Maybe they'll come back and say, you know what, you can carry on doing videos, which would be amazing if they did that, um, but you never know. We'll have to see how they feel about it, uh, and hopefully they will. And hopefully we'll just carry on doing Clash of Clans videos. I have got 800 Clash of Clans videos on my channel. So if you guys are like, I want to see some Clash of Clans now. I have 800 videos. You probably haven't seen them all. Go back, watch them, enjoy them. And it's actually quite funny. Because some of the old ones uh, are really funny compared to the new ones. Because they're completely different styles. So that's quite cool. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, we've been moving on now. Because I'm taking that as that's that's their kind of decision for now. That's fine. Uh, and I'm moving on to different games. So we're starting to play a load of different games. We're kind of exploring games. And that's what I wanted to do with the channel. I didn't want the channel to be nailed down to one game. Which I felt it had kind of got nailed down to one game. Um, so I've started to do different games. And I've had so much fun doing it. I've been playing games that you guys have requested. Uh, I've been doing more kind of vloggy stuff as well. Which you like, you know, taste test. Not taste test, but like, you know, tasting American candy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've got some really cool videos, reaction videos coming up soon. Uh, some challenges as well, like makeup challenge and stuff. And you guys as well are really happy with you. Like, you know, these are really fun, fun videos for us to watch. Um, so hopefully I can carry on doing those uh, as well. So if you guys ever want to see me play a game now, if you just comment it in the comment section, I'll probably go and play it, uh, which is going to be really fun. So we are currently on 660,000 subscribers, 140-ish million views, and we're growing like crazily fast. And I just can't thank you guys enough for that. So that is kind of the story of Master Of and how my channel has grown and how you guys have changed my life. We're going to finish this game now. Uh, and we're going to try and play it seriously because I've kind of been really distracted talking. So let's try and get this down. But yeah, as I said, this is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. And it's their first birthday today. There's a guy just behind there. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Uh, this is their first birthday. This de this game's been out for a year today. And I thank everybody at PopCap, everybody at Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, and everybody that watched this content because this is what grew the channel. This is what made me go, right, I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start trying to grow my channel uh, and see if I can become big on YouTube, if that makes sense. So, let's get into this. We're playing as the soldier. Uh, I'm going to swap soon. We're nearly actually finished this game. And this is the second game I've played of this since... Whoa, this must be... How, how, how many months ago did I play this? I have no idea. Quite a few months ago. Uh, and I'm actually doing not bad. I'm a little bit rusty. I'm a little bit rusty on, like, controllers, to be honest. Because I haven't played controller games... 
uh, well, console games in a while. The games I have been playing have more been PC games, and this pea shooter has just come and rinsed my team. But there we go, we got him down. All right, let's go. 42 to 18. We have destroyed the plants. They are plants after all, so it should be pretty easy for us, but we have literally wrecked them. Take down that pea shooter, baby. I got you. I got you. All right, let's hop along and see what we can do. The great thing about this game that I still love is it's so fast-paced. I'm kind of upset to see... Not upset. I, I thought there would have been... Where, where are you shooting me from? Get out of there. I'm kind of in... Uh, I thought there would have been new content. There's no new content since I last played it, which is upsetting, but I guess you can't always have new content. Maybe there will come Plants vs. Zombies God of Warfare 2. That would be insane. That would be really cool. Get down. Get down, buddy. Uh, we're going to jump... Come on, we want that final kill. It's... Oh, no, no! Ah, oh, right, we got it. We dead. Uh, but yeah, there's no new content, no new maps. I don't know if there's releasing anything. They might be releasing something soon. I hope they do, because I want to play this again, and I, I want to play it. I play this. Charlotte loves this as well. Oh, that's the thing I didn't mention. Charlotte also opened up her channel, of course, uh, and she just hit 100,000 subscribers, and she is over the moon by it. So thank you guys for supporting her channel as well. Uh, keep on watching her content as well. We've got loads of stuff going. I know she doesn't upload every day like me, uh, but she will upload every week, and her content's really funny, and to be honest, I just I just like all the content she does because she's super cute to watch. <laughs> there we go. We've won 50 to, like, 20 in the end, so we destroyed them. And that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. I wanted to play this game, and I also wanted to kind of give a recap of my last year. Uh, and thank you guys for it as well. As I, uh, as you guys probably know, I'm doing a giveaway on the channel. So if you want to check that out, all you have to do uh, is subscribe. Not subscribe. Is uh, well, you can subscribe. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Is use the link down below for at Bounty. Use the invite code of, and we are giving away iTunes and Androids codes at the end of the month, which is going to be amazing. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. Let's hope another year is as good as this. And this time next year, if it carries on, we will be at a million subscribers, which mind blown. I I, I can't even I can't see that happening, but it might actually happen. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.